in front of Lincoln Memorial and, and came across with a now famous phrase of his, I have a dream. Mm -hmm. It was a day off for many people to celebrate uh, his, uh, his birthday, which was actually yesterday. And uh, we um, sent uh, Sandy Hausman, asked Sandy if she would go to Westland Mall and just ask people about what Dr. Martin Luther King meant to them. Sandy? I loved his principles, and they're principles that I li try to live by. Um, I think he did a lot for the blacks. I think he did a lot for whites. I think he did a lot for all people, showing them how to live their lives, how we should all live our lives. Do you remember any specific point where your life changed? No, I remember his I had a dream speech. I think I'll always remember that. I would think after that and remembering the things he said then. Tell me, did did this holiday mean anything special to you? Did you do anything special? Well, I got my uh, telephone fixed because I got to stay home today. Okay, that was Colum Columbus Alive, just uh, local stuff. And now, here is the kitty show, Flippo's Magic Circus. And in a part of this, you will see the actual cube handheld box as Flippo shows how to use it. Now you go, hey! Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hey, I want to thank you all for coming over here in all this snow. Hello? Did any of you... Hello, 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 hello. Tracy, Tracy, hello. Is, is anybody... Did anybody not come in the snow? You all came in the snow. Missy, Missy came in the snow. Hi, Missy. Hi. You know who that is? That's Missy Delosier. She came all the way over here to see me oh, and to say hello. Players at home, it's time to use your cube. Watch this handoff. Hey, just like the Broncos. Oh no, a lot of the uh, Broncos didn't do it yesterday. They did it, but they didn't do it good. Okay, players at home, you got to use your cube. It's time to tell Heathcliff which team you'd like to play with. Now, this is your cube. First thing you do is to put yourself in touch with us here at the Magic Circus by touching button number one up in the upper left-hand corner and touching the center button, which is C. That's the community channel. That's where we are, because we're community. <laughs> okay, C. And one, that puts you in touch with Flippo's Magic Psychus. Now then, sit down, Charlotte. <laughs> down, Charlotte. Now, we have response buttons over here on the side, one, two, three, four, and five. And when I ask you to touch in on different things, like I'll ask you which animal doesn't belong or, or how do you vote on this, you touch these buttons, one, two, three, four, or five. Now, that's also how you pick... <laughs> Charlotte, I work alone. Did you know that? Just hold it down, Charlotte. Cheer down, Charlotte. Cheer down. Uh, you got to pick a, a team. The red team is not button number one, the gold team is button number two, okay? When I tell you to touch you now, to pick your team, because you're going to play with the red team or play with the gold team, when I tell you to touch, you touch button number one or button number two to choose your team. You got it? Now remember this. The touch of a button by any member of your household will allow Cube to display your family name and street name during this program, because four lucky home players uh, on the winning time uh, team mm -hmm, will get prizes, okay? So that's all that means is if you're touching it and playing the game, naturally you'll want to win. So if you do, when you touch the button, it lets us know that it's okay to put your name and your street on. We don't give any numbers, no phone numbers, anything like that. Okay? Are you ready? Button number one's for the red team. Button number two's for the gold team. Ready to touch? Touch when you see the sign. There it goes. Touch it in. There's the music. Everybody touch. One for the red. Two for the gold. Be that ready in. Boy, we're old. Okay. Run it. Everybody, you got that, Heathcliff? Okay, Heathcliff is our computer. He takes care of all the information. Now, are you ready? It's time to start today's Hunt for Treasure. Oh, yeah. Okay, we set up two treasure chests. Now, are you ready for that? Our next game is called Speak to Me. All right, we got a Speak to Me group. Come on down, Speak to Me group. Where's the Speak to Me group? He said, I'm sorry, we won't speak to you. I went to McDonald's the other day. He said, you don't deserve a break today. Where'd you find this group of shy, retiring kids? I mean, I'll go back to the dressing room. You guys do the show. Are you ready? This guy. Hold it. This is the part that says, speak to me, but you're not supposed to say anything. It says right there on the thing, you're not supposed to say anything. See? You're supposed to be very quiet. They're going to tell you something. They're going to tell you something. They've been telling me a lot, but they're going to tell you something. However, they cannot use any words, right? Can't use any words. I'm going to give you a hint. They're going to be a food, American food. All right, speak to me, group. Do your thing. Oh boy, there they are. That's terrific. Let's have a nice hand for our speak to me group. 
All right, stay right where you are. Home team, pay attention, home team. What are they? Are they number one? Jello wiggling in his all girl orchestra. Number two, popcorn popping. Number three, bacon frying. All right, when you see the flashing sign, you touch. Number one, jello wiggling. Number two, popcorn popping. Number three, bacon frying. There it is. Touch now, everybody. What do you think it's going to be there, home team? Number one. Here's an actual audience participation with the Cube two way system. Number three, bacon frying. Touch them in, kids. All right, group. What are you? Popcorn popping. Let's have it for our popcorn popping group. All right, you're doing bows and taking encores and everything else. Okay, that was popcorn popping. Heathcliff, are you ready for this? How'd the red team do on the popcorn popping? Heathcliff is working. The red team, oh, 85% matching. That's very good, red team. 85% matching at home. The home red team is hot. All right, Heathcliff, the gold team. How did they do matching up the popcorn? Ooh, ooh, gold team only did 73%. I told you, gold team, the red team's got this point. Hey, all right. Yeah! Let's check the scoreboard. Scoreboard says... Red team won and the gold team won. Do-da, do-da. Let's hear it for the red team. Okay, we'll sign off now. Uh, nonsense with... Uh... PBS something or other. To the third show on Channel C1, depending on the time of day, this is a uh, show for teens and young adults in Columbus called Columbus Goes Bananas. And title card, no show intro, they just break into it, as you will see. Oh, oh welcome to ZGB. <laughs> as you can see, this is Monday evening, and I'm enjoying a hostess ding-dong. <laughs> Name's Betty. Mom. It's very cold here, and it's snowing outside. I have my snow boots on, as you can well see. And I hope you're not freezing at home. And I know you're home contemplating getting out of school tomorrow and all the other good things. But anyway, I'm enjoying my hostess Ding Dong, and there's a good reason for it. First, a Ding Dong is the symbol of our staff and everybody who works here. Boy, are they Ding Dongs. And secondly, I have a... Uh, a co-hostess today, a young lady waiting backstage to co-host today's show. So please welcome my CGB co-hostess, Johnny Berry of Hilliard High School. I'm a chocolate mess. Have a seat with me. I, I have a hostess ding-dong for you. You do? Yes, I do. Well, I, I didn't know I was going to get paid. Oh, you would, <laughs> yes, you get one ding-dong per show. Yeah. That's what I've been paid since I've been here. Oh, Johnny, I'm glad you're with me. I'm glad to be with you. Yeah, it's going to be a fun day in spite of the snow. Uh, we may have to sleep here. Everybody's going to have to just stick around because we can't <laughs> drive home. How'd you get involved with the banana stuff? Well, it's a really strange story. Actually, how I got involved was I didn't like the show at first, kind of, because they had this monkey on and his name was Milo. And... You yeah, didn't they, like Milo? Here's Milo. Now, how could you not like that face? Would you look at that? Well, it's Milo. hard to explain, but... When did you see Milo? Well, I saw him on a tape, mm -hmm. and Bert and very shortly now we'll be come up, we will be coming up to some local Columbus talent with camera work done and again said, by the crew hate Milo, of can Cube. Milo get rid of him. <laughs> Here she is, only a few weeks later on CGB. Please welcome Karen Austin. All right. And this is basically the flavor of CGB, Columbus Goes Bananas, local talent discussion. It's kind of like a Columbus Alive for a uh, younger age group. So now we'll leave <coughs> Channel C1 and we will go to Channel C2, which is consumer information. This is really, a, uh, I think, one of the better things that Cube has to offer. You can read that for yourself, of course. And uh, later on, I'll show you one they did with drugstores and drug items.